Hello everyone. So in today's class we will try to learn about flower parts and their functions. Okay. So yes, it comes under our reproduction in plant chapter. Okay. So as we are studying something about nature, so I think we it will be better if we convert our nature as our classroom today. Okay. So before moving on into the depth of this chapter of this topic i would like to say that flower is the reproductive part of a plant other than flower every other part that we see in a plant all those will be the vegetative part but the flower is the only thing that we will consider as its reproductive organ okay now the flowers can be of two type one is bisexual and the other one is unisexual flower unisexual flower consists of mainly only one type of sex that means either they will consist only the female part or the male part okay whereas in bisexual flower there are present both male and female part okay now you must be wondering that what are these parts and what are their functions so i will be discussing in this video itself but before that let me give you example of some unisexual flower and some bisexual flower uh, okay, I will show you one bisexual flower. So before that, let me give you example of one unisexual flower. Okay, mainly the unisexual flower, if it comes in your examination that write the name of some unisexual flower, consider writing the species that comes under the family Cucurbitaceae. Okay, like the pumpkin, cucumber. Okay, all these are unisexual flower. That means they consist of only one sex in them, either the male part or the female part okay then let me show you what uh, what is a bisexual flower and what are its different parts okay so here we have a flower we mostly call it as hibiscus other than that its bi uh, botanical name is rosa sinensis and it is commonly known as china rose as well okay now a flower is known as reproductive part because it is the only part that can perform sexual reproduction okay now this part that we are seeing okay this is known as calyx okay now this whole is known as calyx other than that the single piece will be known as what sepal or petal this will be the sepal okay now it holds it holds the petal over it okay it provides supports to the petal petal is mainly the colorful part of the flower that is useful during pollination as it attracts the pollinators towards itself okay mainly all the colorful thing that you will see in the plant in the flower it's the petal mainly okay now okay these are known as accessory holes accessory holes why because they beautifies the flower they don't have major role in the reproduction as they do not carry the male or the female reproductive part the male reproductive part as a whole is known as stamen it as a whole is known as stamen come closer this one that we see is the filament and the upper part there is a cap like structure present this is our what if this is filament then this will be our anther and anther has a dust of pollen grains over it okay and this pollen grain carries the male gamete in them which are essential for during the fusion of the gametes okay got my point now this as a whole is known as stamen and it is consist of anther and filament and anther and over the anther there is present many pollen grains okay now as this is bisexual flower so we have the male part here and the female part as well okay now in the female part the topmost thing is the stigma okay this as a whole is known as pistil and this one is stigma stigma is the platform where the pollen grain lands okay now through the stigma this long tube like structure that we are seeing this is the style okay this one is the style where the pollen grain will grow okay now here we have the ovary that has been covered by our sepals and petals and inside the ovary there are present ovules okay inside the ovary there are present ovules that consist of the female gamete and when the pollination will occur the pollen grain will fall on the stigma they will develop pollen tube 
and will go inside the style and there into the ovary they will get fused with the female gamete okay and after that the seed formation will take place and then after Ger if germination occurs in suitable condition then we will uh, we will be able to see a new plant developing okay thank you for today hopefully we are able to clarify what are the different parts of a flower and what their function is thank you mobile phone o sanga chati apan ko pilati ro patha pada o career ko prabhavita karu chi ki apan seti pai vibrata ki tebe aji asantu apan chahuti ba mon lagi sampurna abasika school टीएससी गुरुकुल गोठपाटना भुवनेश्वर